Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for June 2018. This is for the sign of Libra. We can get them to shuffle. Woo! Not good. <laughs> Whatever. Um, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, uh, Venus, however it resonates with you. This is for the month of June. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what does Libra need to know for the month of June 2018? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so this could have already happened. We're all at different phases. It could be coming up, or you could be going through it right now. Okay. Also remember, I don't adjust my tone. I'm me, and that's the way it is. Holding on. I'm holding on for dear life. And it's probably not the right thing to do. You guys are, somebody is holding on to something. They're obsessed. This is the four of coins. There's an obsession here. Something you don't, you shouldn't be holding on to that you are. Okay. This page of coins. This is somebody that lacks integrity. Doesn't want to do the right thing. Doesn't want to own up to it. <laughs> now this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Um, you know, there's a blockage here. You're blocking the right thing from happening. That's what this is. By holding on to an obsession, you're blocking the right thing. Interesting. You need to focus. Focus has been lost. There's an opportunity for contentment here. You have the four of wands. Commitment, you're committed to something. Yeah, I know. I know that you are. You know, even though you're committed to something, it doesn't mean it's the right thing. You know, it may or it may not. It's, there's an obsession here. This four of coins is the very first card that came out. There's an obsession. Somebody's holding on to something they shouldn't be holding on to. Period. They've lost their focus. They're committed to it. You committed to something. Uh-oh. Ace of Cups reversed. There's... And it's funny that before this card even came out, I said it doesn't mean that it's the right thing, even though you're committed to it. I feel... And it's and you know, this is what channeling is. It's when you get the messages before the cards come out. Okay. The Ace of Cups reversed. Now, if you guys have been watching these readings for a while, you know what that means. There's no love. There's no new... There's no reconciliation. There's no emotional contentment. No emotional contentment here from some arena, whether it's yours or another person. Now we have the Two of Cups upright. Interesting. So one, one person is in love and one person is not. That's what this is. That's what this is. Somebody wants a commitment. Somebody's in love. And somebody is not. Son of a gun. You could be dealing with somebody who has a wandering eye. You're obsessed with this relationship. They're mirroring each other obsessed with this union and that is the truth okay they are mirroring each other somebody is obsessed with this union whether it's you or the other person these can always go vice versa there's an obsession with a partnership but it's not right these two are mirroring each other it's not right it's not love you're dealing with somebody that is blocking you from true love you're dealing with somebody who's come, become lazy and complacent and probably an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who isn't putting in effort. They're not offering emotional support. They are not in love. 
could be any sign. But you're committed anyway, right? You are committed to this, whatever it is you're holding on to. We're going to see what's, mirror, what's connected to that in a minute. Interesting. June. June. You could be attending some sort of gathering this month. So I have to tell you right off the bat that the Empress is reversed. There's no growth with whatever it is you're holding on to. There's no more growth. There's no fertility. There's no rebirth in this situation that you're holding on to. I am sorry to tell you that, but there isn't. And it's time for you to accept this truth. Be objective about this. You know, you're being called to start a new phase in your life. This is a lesson. A lesson has been learned here. Here we have this King of Cups reversed. It's like there's emotional withdrawal for sure. With, these, with the Ace of Cups, with the King of Cups. And next to the Two of Cups, just these three cards alone. Somebody wants this loving relationship. They want the, to rekindle this. They want this love. That's I don't know if that's you or the other person. Somebody wants this relationship. But the other person does not. The other person has moved on. I'm sorry. I am sorry. And, and it's... You are being called to start on a new journey... Accept this truth. There is a new opportunity for commitment. There is. This is new. This is the end. This is this is a new beginning. A major new beginning is on the horizon, which leads to a commitment. But you have to accept the current truth of this situation that there is no more growth here. And I do sincerely apologize. You guys have a major new beginning in front of you, but somebody is not accepting it. The Ace of Cups is reversed. One person is, the other person isn't. There's two people in a relationship, and one person is not in the game. They have closed themselves off, okay? They have. They're not communicating they're not. We have the Ace of Cups reversed, the King of Cups reversed with the Two of Cups upright. Somebody's not communicating. They're, clo they're closed off. They're detached. They're withdrawn. They're, not any, they're no longer emotionally available to this commitment. They're not. So whether that's you or the person you're dealing with, somebody has completely shut down from this relationship. And that's what happens. With the King of Cups reversed. This is a person that is withdrawn, cold, and detached. And no longer emotionally connected to the situation. There's no growth. I'm sorry. There's no growth here. For this, this whatever it is that you're obsessed with, there's no growth. It's not going to happen. You need to stop. You need to stop fighting for it. You need to stop giving it your energy. You know, this this is victim mentality. The five of coins. Begging. I mean, this is a beggar. Look at the picture. Are you begging for for this person's attention? You begging for this person's attention? And they're not even... They've gone complacent. They've gone cold. They have. The, the fact of the matter is, is you have a new opportunity, Libra. You do. You have a brand new opportunity for security and stability and a new beginning, which leads to success and commitment. A new opportunity, a new beginning, a new beginning that leads to success and commitment. You have that. It's being offered to you. But right now, you are obsessed 
with something where there's no growth. You're fighting for something, begging for something. You are begging for something where it's just not right. It's not. This person is, I believe, whoever this other person is, is they're complacent. They're, they've lost their focus. They're not focused on you. They can't see your beauty. Somebody can't see your beauty. And you may be bitter. You may be resentful. You may be angry at this point. But you know, you have an opportunity right now with this devil card reverse to restore control over your life stop begging for their attention stop begging for their love bring back the control take back control of your life and bring happiness back there's an opportunity for happiness here a new beginning that could lead to a relationship if you would open yourself up emotionally to this new person fully that's what I see. Anyway, I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. 11-11. I looked at the clock at 11-11 just for you. Anyway, um, there's an opportunity for happiness here. If you could let go of bitterness, you could let go of anger, you can let go of resentfulness. Don't be resentful. You're not a victim here, and you don't deserve to beg for anybody's attention and love. That does look like a beggar, and you cannot deny that, and neither can I. There's an opportunity here for commitment and happiness. Libra, being offered to you something that is stable and secure, somebody that wants to love you, that's what I see, but I feel like you guys are still obsessed with somebody that doesn't see your worth. Yeah, you have to make a choice. Come on now, two of wands. Do you stay stuck in the past or do you move forward to the future? That's what the card means. Somebody doesn't want to accept the truth. I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to believe the truth. The Ace of Swords reversed. With the Knight of Swords. It's like things are happening fast with this new connection. There's a new connection th here. Things are happening really fast. And you may be scared to go down this new path with this person. Yeah, you're trying to stall. You're trying to stall this person in hopes that You will receive some kind of communication from somebody else. I'm sorry, I just heard that in my head. I just You are looking for communication from somebody else before you can commit to this other person. And I got my finger in my ear. It's so funny. You guys are, haven't quite severed ties with someone from the past. and But somebody is moving in on you very, very quickly. And you would like to be a part of them, but you're really, really scared to offer them because then you will absolutely have to sever ties with this person from the past that you are obsessed with. You are being called to have faith, to listen to your inner guide, to believe in yourself, to seek guidance and to listen. Do not deny the truth. Something is over and you are being called to go start a new phase in your life. Just have a new beginning with somebody else. You have a new opportunity here that will that is something stable, very stable and secure that could lead to marriage. But this is not the person from the past that you think it is. It is somebody new. So Libra, 
the message for this month is to absolutely release this grip you have on the past and let this new person love you because they are true and it could lead to marriage and commitment. You have an opportunity to go down a new path and not look back. Take action. Have no fear. Have no fear, Libra. You fear that this new person ha does not have good intentions. But I feel like this new person does have good intentions. That's your own protection. You're trying to protect yourself from being hurt. Or from letting the last one go. Intuitive nudges. Isn't that funny? Intuitive nudges. And I was just getting those for your reading. Intu intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. I have to tell you, here we have the Hierophant card. It's labeled Faith. You have a divine connection. You do. Use it to your advantage. Ask for guidance. Listen, and you will receive the answers. The problem you have is not listening. You hear the answers, but you don't want to believe them. You doubt them. Whatever you're holding on to from the past, there's no growth. It's over. It's done. There's no renewal. There's no rebirth. It's done. You have an opportunity for a new connection in June that could lead to a solid partnership with commitment. But I'm not sure you're able to offer love. Somebody's not able to offer love. That's for damn sure with that Ace of Swords. Once you sever those ties with the past, you will find the commitment that you seek. But right now you're blocking it. Like I said at the beginning of this reading, you're blocking this solid, loving Commitment. It's time to free yourself from this obsession. Obsession? Free yourself. The devil reversed. Free yourself from this obsession, please. There's a new opportunity here that leads to happiness. They're together in commitment. Grab it. Talk to you later.